recently volunteered to help fisheries biologists in Great Smoky Mountains National Park monitor fish populations on the middle prong of Little River at Tremont, near Townsend, Tennessee. Biologists sample a number of streams throughout the park to track the health of trout and non-game fish populations. The backpacks you see produce an electrical current that flows between the two probes in the water. This temporarily paralyzes the fish so they can be netted. After they're netted, they're kept alive in a bucket of water. Anyone who's never been around this type of sampling is usually surprised at how many trout are in the stream and by how many other species of fish also live there. Sample sites are approximately 200 meters long. Nets are placed on the downstream and upstream end of the site to make sure none of the fish can escape and the count is accurate. After completing a single pass, the fish are separated by species in large tubs of water. A small amount of clove oil is put in the water to act as a sedative. This makes the fish calmer and easier to handle without unnecessary stress on the fish. They're not dead, just sedated. Large trout occasionally turn up in these samplings, but biologists choose sample sites based on a wide array of habitats. Deep pools that favor large trout don't necessarily give an accurate sampling for an entire stream. Most fishermen aren't concerned with non-game fish populations, but these days are important to the stream ecosystem, so it's just as important to track their populations as well. After fish are counted, weighed, and measured, they are taken to a mesh cage upstream of the sample site. This allows them to fully recover in fresh stream water without the possibility of being counted twice. After sampling is complete and the fish have recovered, they are all returned to the stream. For R&R &R Fly Fishing, this is Ian and Charity Rudder. We'll see you on the river.